Welcome to the greatest stringing show on earth. Only reason I can say that is because there's not a lot of good string shows out there nowadays. In fact, I might be the only one. How is everybody doing tonight? What's up, Christian? Banana fish. I don't think I've seen your name here before, my man. Welcome. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Just gotta set some stuff up real quick. Reeker boy, how have you been, my friend? Seen you a lot in the comments, but not so much the streams. I know you're one of the OGs. You gotta pay respects to the OGs. Dude, this racket is, oh, the racket I'm streaming right now. Never even heard of it before. It's called the Assault 95. Man. Is this Slazinger? Ah, uh, Spalding. What's up, Jose P? Uh, quality, um, what about your lists in Python? What about it? Python is a nice language. I, I actually, I'm starting to like it more than C Sharp, which was it, which is my main language. Uh, yeah, I mean, they used to be big into tennis, uh, Spalding and Slazinger. Um, but this is obviously an older racket, so yeah, I can't do anything about it. It's a good one, though. Money's money, right? The NBA racket. NBA racket indeed. Man, that's an old one too. Is this head velocity MLT at 55 pounds? Quality, you're doing a project, right now, a project right now, and you have to add the amount of attempts to a list, and then output the lowest and highest values on the list. Okay. Um, is the list a complex object, or is it just an integer value? Quality. Yeah, Chairman, it, it's a funny one. I'm actually taking notes on it. I did get another, yes, I did get another uh, set of PT Rev. It'll, it should be here by Thursday, the chairman. What's up, Bruce Ree? You caught me with my pants down. I hope not, because that would be bad. That would be very bad if you caught me with my pants down. Because I normally have pants on when I'm on stream. Unless I get really drunk. Yeah, uh, quality, I'm actually looking at your solution right now. 
So there is this thing called python list.sort. Yeah. Quality, take a look at that. Um, yeah, that, that from the business requirements you gave me, that's uh, that should solve your uh, your problem. Oh, like. How, how do you know I actually have pants? Well, I mean, I don't have pants, I have shorts. Like, basketball shorts. That helps. I have basketball shorts on. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, Zandino, what's up, man? Thanks for asking. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of had a weird day. Yesterday was yesterday was one of the worst days of my life. Um, yeah, yesterday yesterday was not one of the worst days, but yesterday was brutal. It, it was rough, um, and, and thankfully yesterday's done. Today is a little bit better. Still, definitely not. I, I wouldn't say today was a good day. Um, yeah, it, it's 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 getting better though, day by day. Um, just got a lot of stuff going on my mind right now. focus in for you guys. A little better. So Spalding has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, actually. Why is eight mains? But it does have 10 on the throat, as someone said on the chat. Absolutely correct. It's a little bit of a different one. Uh, there's 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 ten mains on the on the throat, weaker boy. There's a lot. Bailout overgrips. Um, Marshall, um, this is your warning about um, that horrible horrible two words. I do have mods, and I did train. Sorry, I have, I have moderators now, and the moderators are trained to ban on certain keywords. And you said one of those keywords, just a heads up. Can I let you guys in on a little secret of mine? Just a little secret. It's not a big one. It's just a little one. Let me know if you want to hear it. Uh, Joseph GDP, I only do like one piece stringing if it's like a super oversized racket and the grommets don't allow me in a comfortable way to do a two piece. If I can, I always try to do a two piece. So quality, you know that there's um, in life there's such things as good mistakes and bad mistakes. Good mistakes is you know trying a career and it didn't work out and you have Plan B. And a bad mistake would be like drinking and driving. It's a horrible mistake. Um, using a Babolat overgrip uh, is kind of like that latter category of a horrible mistake that you'll never recover from, and it's always going to be on your record for the rest of your life. So I highly suggest you don't do Babolat overgrips.
Zandino, um, you know, if there's nothing wrong with your Babylon 2018 Pure Drive, stick with it, my man. Ask for something meaningful like, you know, a gaming PC or a string machine. As long as it's not a two-piece, right? Uh, I have strong burn 100s. Um, they had a weird string pattern. Not towards like the middle of the racket, but the mains. They had they had shared holes, right? The burn 100s had some at least two, if not four, shared holes, and I hate shared holes as a stringer. No, we don't mind. I'm drinking water because I'm dehydrated today. Chairman, um, these over these oversized rackets, like I'm talking about 102 square inches or more, they recommend um, one one piece, I believe. What's up, John? Huh? Thank you, man. Dude, I tried to get a Blade Pro, but I couldn't, um, I, I couldn't. Um, there's this uh, tennis shop out of Illinois that um, is thinking about being a sponsor of mine. I said, dude, give me a Blade Pro so I could demo it. And I'll give you guys a shout out, but to no avail, unfortunately. Uh, Landini, Morini, um, you're asking about pinpoint versus platform. In all honesty, it really doesn't matter. It, it's all personal preference, my friend. So whatever suits, you, whatever floats your boat. Oh yeah, I hate shared holes too. Um, Jen Ha, I, I highly suggest you never, ever, ever hybrid a shaped polyester with any type of multi-filament because it defeats the purpose and it is horrible, horrible, horrible for the lifespan of that hybrid setup. So if you're gonna do a hybrid setup, a hybrid meaning a polyester with a multi-filament, you know, it doesn't matter what's in the mains or what's in the crosses, um, do round for both of them, in my opinion. Uh, the worst rackets to string are the prints Rackets that have holes in them, they're absolutely horrible. Like, Jesus, kill me. Like, I'm thinking about charging an extra $10 for those type of rackets. I hate them so much. String more spin than tour bite. Um, I would say that the vocal V square actually gave more spin than uh, the Slinko tour bite. Christian Teeps. X Denny, I mean, it's gonna give you more spin potential. Um, but in my opinion, an 18 by 20 string pattern that has, let's say, an 18 gauge string on both the mains and the crosses still won't give nearly as much spin potential, in my opinion, compared to um, a 16 by 19 string pattern with a 16 gauge string on both the mains and the crosses. That's my opinion though. I'd be more than happy to discuss that. Oh yeah, Prince O4s are tough to string. That's why I said it, my friend. They're horrible. They're also extremely expensive. It's like, geez. It's like buying a pair of ripped jeans. Like, ripped jeans are more expensive than non-ripped jeans, but there's less material because apparently it's fashionable. 
It is what it is, man. The last good Prince racket. I, I will say that the Prince, um, the Prince Tour, the orange one, even though it ho had holes in it, was actually a pretty good racket. But the last true good, great, sorry, the last true great Prince racket, in my opinion, was the Diablo Mid and the Diablo Tour. Those were amazing frames. I don't know if they still sell them, but oh my god. They are fantastic, classic player rackets, my friend. Yeah, Vig, it's definitely possible to have kick and slice serves as first serves. It's perfectly reasonable, especially in doubles if you're a doubles player. There's nothing wrong with not even having a flat serve. Just don't expect to hit aces more than maybe once a match. Yeah, uh, Chairman, that's why I always try to string two-piece if I can. Because I two pieces better for tension maintenance. Hmm. Okay, that's a little better. Oh. Well, it's because it's frozen. Good call out. I'm having some technical difficulties. Damn it. This really pisses me off. Footwork drills, in all honesty, dude, just work out. Especially leg day. That's my opinion. Matthew Zhu. It's all about having thick thighs. Thick thighs saves lives. Am I right, gang gang? Jesus. Hmm. There we go. Test. One, two, and there we go. Although probably a little too bright. That's a little bit better. You still see me okay? Yeah, that's fine. Totally messed it up, sorry. Um, Vig, you're asking if, let's see, how often I watch YouTube videos on tennis instructional videos improving your game? Um, I think like once a day or maybe every other day, in all honesty, it's just essential tennis stuff that I've been following lately. I know there's other ones out there like my Tennis HQ with Kairou Cell. I watch it every now and then, but obviously I'm a lot more close with essential tennis for more than, you know, one reason because, you know, he's right there and I work with him on an unofficial basis. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, you guys can see this now, so we're, we're good. What's up, Harley? You're asking if I've tried the head gravity or new radical frames. Um, I have never tried a gravity racket, and I haven't tried the, gra the new radical frames yet. Um, and I really kind of don't want to because I don't want to spend more money, Joseph GDB. So I'm perfectly fine with my uh, racket setup as of now. 
I might customize it, add some weight because it was a little bit on the lighter side, but overall pretty damn happy with it. Dude, Egon, Samai, um, like, apparently everybody loves Wilson Clash. I think you are the only person that despises it. So, like, I'm not in love with the Wilson Clash because I don't think it's made for people with one-handers. But it's still a damn good racket, in my opinion, for most people. Intuitive Tennis is good. Yeah, he's, he's got some good stuff out there. I just haven't had time to sit down and watch a good amount of his videos. But um, he seems very passionate about the game and he you know obviously he went to uh, i think louisville which is uh, a d1 school in kentucky um i think they're more known for basketball but they have a very strong men and women's program and he's from germany right so he, he knows his stuff he's a fantastic tennis player amazing tennis coach but i just haven't had time to um, listen to his stuff unfortunately but yeah i'm not discrediting any of these youtubers at all it's just you know if, if my name is going to be at Essential Tennis YouTube videos, well, you know, it sounds kind of cocky, but I'm going to watch some Essential Tennis YouTube videos. Simple as that. Was intuitive against it? Dejan. Bleh! <laughs> Top tennis training? Is that that English or uh, British guy? Don't mean to offend anybody, but I really can't tell. To be honest, I can't even tell the difference between um, a British slash English accent versus an Australian accent. I, I, I can't tell the difference. Other than it being a Sunday night. Good old Nick Kyrgios. On a Sunday night. Berserk String? I never even heard of that company, Chairman. Uh, Christian Teeves, I'm not going to buy any more rackets. My budget's a little bit tight right now because I am planning on quitting my full-time job sometime this year. Uh, just haven't pulled the trigger yet. So, yeah. Uh, Marianne, I mean, in, in your previous rackets, so, like, if you're switching from racket A to racket B, on your racket B, try to get the string and the same tension that you had in racket a that's that's my opinion marianne um because you want to change as few parameters as possible before you start experimenting with something else that that's my that's my opinion uh, michael l hyper g soft video will be out friday i got a little bit busy with drew's racket or it's not drew's racket uh the uh me playing against drew um, the second part will be out tomorrow. Um, th that took a lot longer than expected because I had to, I reformatted, I reformatted, um, how I'm doing some of the stuff on YouTube on my computer hard drive so I could save some space because the files, especially for 4k was getting way too big. So I had to reformat and delete some old footage. I had to remake my scoreboard. And I hope you guys appreciate the new scoreboard. It's a cleaner look. I like it a lot better. Um, Ian from Essential Tennis inspired me. And I think about 10 people sat down on Discord with me and actually like gave me live feedback as I was creating the new scoreboard. So I really hope you guys appreciate that. So Michael L, um, Friday, um, the Hyper G soft video should be up.
Polytour Pro. Yeah, I think it's a good deal. Dejan, 140 US dollars, right? Because I only understand freedom units. Silk, that's a good question. I don't know yet. Um, I could always uh, do software programming part time because it's no secret that software developers make stupid good money on an hourly basis. Um, but you know, programming's fine. It's it's a lot better than being a sales job or an accountant, which was my um, previous life in the business world. But dude, YouTube videos, whoo, making content. Making YouTube content is pretty freaking fun. <laughs> and you guys seem to be enjoying it too. Matthew Zhu, um, what makes beer taste good? Um, beer is an acquired taste, especially for people with uh, anxiety and depression. <laughs> it, it helps calm the nerves so I can entertain you guys. I'm joking. Um, beer to me... Beer, to me, like a non-sarcastic answer, uh, Matthew Zhu, um, it doesn't taste good to me, but it doesn't taste bad either. Um, you know, it's obviously no secret that, you know, I probably have some sort of genetic disorder prone to alcohol abuse and alcohol addiction, which is fine. It's a part of life. Um, but I, I don't mind the taste of beer, in my opinion. But obviously, if you guys are able to stay sober, I would suggest staying sober. Fortunately, I'm not that type of guy. Um, I used to work as a financial advisor for a very short time, um, back in 2016, but I hated, hated that industry so much. Part of it was because of how much restrictions you had if you're going to work as a financial advisor. I do have, and it's expired unfortunately, I do have a Series 7 uh, FINRA license. I, I passed the Series 7 test on my first try which is a huge accomplishment on its own. And I actually think I finished it in about 30 minutes. Um, but after s about six months on the job, I'm like, this is absolute BS. I hate this. It's not worth it. I don't like how much control that these certain um, overseeing body parts like FINRA have over not only just your business life, but your, your actual life itself. So I walked away from that life. Long, long time ago. Dennis Anderson, uh, Poly Tour Rev is up next, my friend. That is up next for the tennis ring review. Big brain, believe it or not, I actually don't have that high of an IQ. I just know how to talk to people and I know how to ask the right questions. Yeah, Polytour Fire Dejan is not a bad string, but um, I think the Polytour Pro is much better in performance and value. So, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the Polytour Pro. Dude, if you get the Polytour Pro in yellow, I think the Polytour Pro in yellow plays a little bit better than the Polytour Pro in black. That's my personal opinion, though. If you guys have ever played the Yonex Polytour Pro, um, yellow versus um, black version. Let me know in the chat if there is a difference. Dejan is curious. I have not tried the MSV Focus Hex, Reeker boy, but it actually is on the wall up there. I did have you guys vote on it, and you guys didn't pick it, unfortunately. Uh, Age Pingle, I mean, like, as I previously said on this uh, stream, um, on your previous racket, what strings did you use? Uh, Dylan Valentine, how much do I practice a week? Um, is it okay if I just answer that with, like, how often I hit a week? Not, I don't know what you call practice anymore. Um, but I, I hit about... Not including lessons with my high-level tennis players. I practice about um, four to five times a week. By practice, I mean hit uh, competitively, whether it's a, a match, uh, competitive drills, or something I just want to work on. And that adds up to about an hour and a half each session. So, hey, Google, what is 1.5 times 4? 1.5 times 4 is 
So about six hours a week I practice competitively. On top of that, I lift about four hours a week um, without any breaks because I want to go in and out of the gym as much as possible and getting thick thighs because, hey guys, remember, thick thighs save lives. Um, and then, you know, go home and play World of Warcraft and drink beer. Chairman, do you like the black PTP better or the yellow PTP better? Uh, Egon, what's my go-to fast food alcohol? Dude, vodka and Taco Bell is a killer combo. And then you wake up with some of the worst hangovers in the next morning, but you know, totally worth it. Vodka and Taco Bell, ah. Oh. So cheap and so good. Yeah, Ash Pingle, use the strings that you used before. And then um, let me know what you like and don't like about your setup. And then we could go from there. Oh, wait, Brian, again, what, what strings did you use on your previous racket? My God, should I just make a YouTube video on this? I've had three of these questions. <laughs> Damn right I'm a millennial, Harley Douglas. Um, the person, um, don't buy an Ezo 98. Don't, because I don't want you to have elbow surgery or forearm issues in you know, in like seven months. Uh, Andy Chung, I've not tried the Ghost Inside Wine or a G Spin 3 before. I've never even heard of it. I know Ghost I didn't know they made Sidewinder. Is that a shape, Polly? Curious. The best performance string I've ever used for polyester souk, it is the Yonix Polytour Pro, in my opinion. Either that or the Razor Code from Technofiber. Two fantastic strings, a little bit on the expensive side though. Yeah, well, you're in Europe, Dijon. I mean, you know, you guys eat healthier. You guys aren't nearly, you guys aren't nearly as fat as us Americans. Hey Google, can you call me daddy from now on? Yes, that's right. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Your name is Daddy, right? Yes. Sure, I'll call you Daddy from now on. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Daddy. <laughs> it gets me every time. Hmm, so Natam3 is asking for more pop from his EZO 98. Gravity MP or Speed MP? Um, I haven't hit with a Gravity MP or Speed MP ever, Natam. So I would ask the chat that you are now. Guys, what do you guys think? Um, do you get more pop out of the Gravity MP or Speed MP? Natam3 is asking. Aj Pingol, being shorter, um, typically speaking, um, you have thicker thighs than your longy boy counterparts. Um, you're more agile and quick off the bat, and you have better reaction skills, especially at the net, especially on a shot coming straight at your body, and you have better hand-eye coordination than your Chad six foot plus counterparts. Michael L, what are some of the challenges of being a YouTuber? Um, that, that's a good one. Michael L, can you, um, Michael L, can you post that on my Discord on the Q&A with Mark? I would love to answer that in a more thorough fashion. I promise I will answer that. If you post it on Discord, on the Q&A with Mark chat, I'd be more than happy to spend two minutes on it.
Mosh, how do I get to stringing? Um, I grew up extremely poor, and I grew up playing tennis so my parents could keep me off the streets and get my chubby ass in shape because I actually used to be a very chubby kid, if not possibly even fat because I was not physically active until tennis. Um, and then, as I, as I said, I grew up extremely poor, um, immigrant family. Um, and my parents were like, yeah, you're breaking strings way too quickly. Um, here is a string machine. It was called, it was a silent partner crank machine, so not a drop weight. And they said, you're going to learn on your own. And I learned on my own. And I, in a very, very shitty manner, strung rackets in a very shitty way for like six years until I started learning how to string properly. So yeah, I've, uh, I mean, I've used a drop weight before because some of my friends have drop weights. I just kind of want to mess around with it, and yeah, it's archaic as hell. But um, I started off with a crank machine. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine viewers. Nice. Uh, do I ever go to Alabama? No. I've actually never been to Alabama. I've been to Louisiana, I've been to Tennessee, I've been to Kentucky, I've been to Georgia, I've been to Florida, I've been to South Carolina, North Carolina, but not Alabama. Rieger boy, thanks for hanging out, man. Nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Rieger boy's an OG. Gang, gang. Well, Souk, I mean, how much money do you have? That's the that's question, right? Dude, Matthew Zhu, um, like, I, I will be going to Atlanta, Georgia sometime this summer because of Tennis Troll. And, like, everybody on the Tennis Troll channel, like, would be, I, I, honestly, I think they, have, they want a piece of me. And I think, like, almost all of them would be good matches. <laughs> Thanks, Dijon. I mean, if you guys want to, leave a like. I mean, that'd be great. It's not necessary. Also, c subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe if you enjoy watching this guy that likes to drink way too much beer, string tennis rackets, and bitch about how companies are screwing over customers because of bullshit marketing. But hey, that's just me. Uh, Egon Samai, I've never tried uh, one of those travel size string machines. Never have. Oh yeah, they have a solid lineup of tennis troll channel. Dylan Pate, I do have um, I do have friends in uh, Indiana, specifically Indianapolis. I gotta pay them a nice visit. But I don't go there often, but I, I think I could make a trip. Uh, man, Jesus. This is a bitch to string, though. Aditya Pristio, yeah, I have. Um, I mean, typically speaking, um, I actually think it does feel better if the crosses are 10% lower than the mains, assuming they're the same string. But I've honestly been a little bit too lazy. <laughs> and lackadaisical uh, for doing it. And truth be told, sometimes half the time I forget. Um, so yeah, drop, dropping the crosses about 10% um, does feel a little bit better. But not to the point where it's gonna win you tennis matches. It just feels a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, I wake up at 3 a.m. It's Chase, uh, Chase Uwe asking me a personal stringer. Uh, I would literally drop everything I'm doing and say yes. Derek Geary, um, yes, not only can I tell the difference between a 16 gauge and a 17 gauge, I can immediately tell the difference, assuming it's the same string, same tension, I can immediately tell the difference between a 16 gauge and a 16L gauge on the first strike. 
it, it does, I believe um, gauges make that big of a difference for me as a four or five tennis player. Most rackets I've ever strung in a day. I strung 20 rackets in a day back in college when I was stringing for my tennis team. And yes, my fingers did hurt. Worth it though. Bring me to the person I am now. Some of my friends that were stringers for um, an ITA tournament in Madison, Wisconsin, for these massive tennis tournaments, they were stringing hundreds of rackets, or I think a hundred rackets a day, and they their, their their fingers literally went numb for like two weeks. I, I'd never want to do that. I want a nice casual setting where other people that I've never met before in my entire life can silently judge me string tennis rackets and talk about tennis stuff while I'm drinking alcohol. It's a better life that way. Don't you guys think? Uh, it's technically gamma, but it does look like a paint job. It's got some flare on it. Uh, Suk, I don't use anything thinner than a 16 gauge unless I absolutely have to for playtesting because I blow through those strings like crazy. I've strung seven, I, I've played with 17 and 18 gauge full bed polys in the past and I broke them within an hour and a half. It's a gamma. A little bit of a decal, so to speak. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Daddy. Damn right it is.
Oh, that's why. Battery's low. One second. Test. Test. Yeah. Always have a spare. Thank you for the mute souk. This is an old school head radical tour. Absolutely old school. It is OS. Test, test. Yeah, you guys can hear me. Uh, Stanley, I would highly suggest just a soft multi-filament like uh, Wilson Sensation or maybe even a Prince Synthetic Gut with Duraflex. You don't want anything crazy for an 11 year old unless they're an aspiring D1 recruit that already have full strokes and are already physically developed, especially in the arm area. Yeah, Dylan, so um, I am playing a subscriber who's claiming to be a 5-0 sometime next week. And the only reason I'm saying yes to the subscriber is because he lives only about 45 minutes away from me, so it's not that too far of a drive for him. So it should be a good match. And yeah, it'll be up on my channel. See, what's up, cat? Happy birthday to cat. Be nigh. Maganda shot. Um, yeah, funny enough. My cousin, we used to be pretty close. Her name's Kit. But I call, we call her Cat. I think her full name's like Marikit. Not gonna lie, I haven't seen her in like 10 years, but I kind of miss her. Smart girl. I think she's in New Zealand now. She grew up in the Philippines. Aj Pingal, um, literally do back squats. That's like the most important exercise for tennis players. Just back squats. So for me, razor, the Technifiber Razor Code was um, super soft. Uh, Jan, I do have a T2 boy. So uh, my T2 boy is actually uh, Kit's dad, which is really weird <laughs> that you're mentioning that right now. But yeah, I do have a T2 boy. Because apparently, guys, if you guys don't know this, um, Boy is actually like legit, like a very common name, first name in Filipino culture, which is <laughs> pretty funny. Two, three. Everybody's a T2 boy. What's up, in these, what's up Ethan Ito? Everybody's a T2 boy. Even if you're not Filipino, you actually have a T2 boy. You just don't know it yet. Yeah, Dylan Valentine. I grew up in, uh, you know, I went to college in Wisconsin. Yes, I've heard of Keystone beer. That's literally the thing that pumped through my body more than water itself. My God, Keystone, man. Keystone light. Brings me back to the day. Those were the days. One, two, three, six. Oh, man. This requires nine. Hopefully I didn't mess this up. That should be good. Hopefully this is enough. Man, 
Man, this oversized stuff is killer. Real question is, do I have enough for this oversized racket? I might have cut it wrong. Oh, you want to MSOE? So you're making probably 200K right now if you're over the age of 30 or 35, soy 78. They pump out some very smart engineers from that school. Very smart engineers. You're an 11.6 UTR. I would love to take you down. Whoops. Wrong thread. Uh, use the side hole. I always stick with the 16 gauge. So. If there's no 16 gauge available, I'll do a 16 L, but I, I try to stay as similar as possible with the gauges. Doesn't throw my game off too much. Uh, 16.5 UTR, so you're literally better than Nadal on clay. Use the side hoe. I am honored by your presence on my live stream. Yeah, I have a UTR, look me up. I'm like a 9.2. I do have a UTR tournament this weekend. Hopefully I can bump up my UTR. Be nice. Probably not in the best physical shape right now though. I still drink too much, way too much. Oh, this should be fine. Um, no, you have to wear a mask when you're inside, but if you're playing, you don't have to wear a mask. So um, that, that's a blessing in Wisconsin, at least. I know um, not all states or even places all over the world are like that. Um, there's enough, I think. I did a bad job of possibly measuring it, but I have just enough, thankfully. I gotta be more careful with that because I saw that this is an oversize and um, I didn't, I, I totally forgot that radicals back then were um, 18 by 20 string pattern. So I was worried about that for a bit, but you know, thankfully I have enough. So yeah, your, your concerns are, you know, obviously warranted, but thankfully it pulled through. Meadowbrook, Meadowbrook Country Club in Mount Pleasant. Jose P, um, I've never heard of a Meadowbrook Country Club. You know what? I have. I've never played there before. Um, Jose P, can you send me an email about uh, more details on that? I'd love to hang out with you for that tennis tournament. I, I did have a few students do that last summer. Um, I couldn't do it because I was teaching. Um, but yeah, Jose P, l let me know. Shoot me an email. My email is on my about page on my uh, YouTube channel. So shoot me an email there and we'll hang out sometime in July. Confidential plays um, pretty well. Obviously pretty good value for a shape uh, cold polyester. Um, 
it has a break-in period, and after the break-in period, it does give you a pretty good amount of power and trampoline effect. So just be careful of that. Um, so yeah, that you know, it's, it's a good string overall. I, I still prefer the Hyper G a little bit more for tournament match play. Thanks, Darren Wong. Oh, really? I'm popular in California, Darren Wong. Man. What's up? What's up, Juke? Juke Shin. Remember how to say your name. Aditya Prestio, it, does it launch after break-in period because 17 gauge? It launches for me even after 16 gauge, so I was worried about that for you, for 17 gauge. Yeah, Kevlar, I hate Kevlar strings so much. For me, like my only experience with Kevlar strings, is like it was okay, but obviously the selling point is that Kevlar string gives more bite and more durability than um, a typical polyester. But the Kevlar strings I was using in college that I tried out, dude, the Kevlar string broke after two hours of hitting. It wasn't even off a miss hit, just broke. Clean break. So never using Kevlar again. It was Ashaway Crossfire, if you guys are uh, ever curious about it. And no, the cross did not break. It was actually the main, which was Kevlar. If you guys are curious about that. Chairman, confidential all the way. Uh, use the side hoe. I believe you're the only one that feels that the confidential has more control than the hyper G. Unless someone else in chat can say otherwise. Juke, right? Or did I say Juke earlier? It's Juke, right? Yeah, the OG Sheep Micro from Gosen is a good, good one. Um, I personally always have Wilson Sensation, which obviously is a lot more expensive than uh, the OG Sheep Micro from Gosen. Um, but I think for like players that play like maybe once every two to three weeks, or only play during the summer, OG Sheep Micro is perfectly fine. It was 16 gauge soy 78. Jayuk, right? Am I saying two different things right now? I, th I thought I said Jayuk. What's up, Bedroom Punk? Tuesdays are for the boys. Wade Bryant, you're asking if I've played Ian ever since the ankle injury that was recorded in the annals of YouTube tennis content. I've not played him in an actual match ever since that injury. But let's put it this way. I'd be surprised if me and him didn't play a full match sometime in the next few months. Obviously the big thing with him is um, playing MEP, AKA green shirt guy, AKA Ben, that's gonna be played very soon. So uh, yeah, I think I'm next. But I, I think, I, I think um, MEP versus Ian is gonna be a bigger event. It's gonna be more viewed than me versus Ian as a revenge match. Uh, Suk, you're asking about 
Well, PT Pro is better than ISO speed baseline control in every single way except for price. But to be honest, I think ISO speed baseline control is better than RPM Blast 16, even if price wasn't an issue. That's my personal opinion though. Your bedroom punk, tennis season coming up. You're a damn good high schooler for UTRs nine, my friend. Four or five UTRs a freshman, 10 as a senior. Dude, play as many tournaments as possible and play as many people better than you as possible. Especially during, you know, your growth spurt, you know, it's called puberty, if you guys have ever heard of it. Um, you're gonna be physically stronger, hopefully more mentally mature to take your tennis to the next level. Oh yeah, he's not that into rocket science at all, Chairman. I agree, that's what I'm here for, right? I really wish I had liquor. My goodness. Mm. Dude, an 8.73 is a sophomore in high school is a beast. Justin Siyoshi, what's up, man? Of course, everything is not well. Why do you think I'm drinking so much? But we all deal with our stuff differently, don't we? It was a PBR, Soy 78, until I killed it. Was a PBR soy seventy eight. Oh, my God, everybody, do not piss off Zach because he is a mod and he's on the stream. I am going to review the Onyx E-Zone. Um, hopefully by early next week, I'll have the video out. I've just been super busy with um, work and other life stuff. Life has gotten pretty busy for me lately. What's up, Eddie Goodman? Allah! Allah to the boys! Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, uh, if you guys are on my Discord, I have two mods, actually three. One being Zach, one being Karen. Zach is on stream right now. And one is the other, uh, my, my main hitting partner, Brian. So don't piss them off. I've not played with a E-Zone XI-98. And apparently the E-Zone 98 DR is also one of the best rackets ever made in recent memory. Not just, you know, one of the best renditions, but one of the best rackets made this past decade. I have not. Megamind, Hyper-G soft review should be out by Friday. This coming Friday, Megamind. Eddie Goodman, um, yeah, the Wise 2086 uh, tension head was worth it in my opinion. Worth every single penny. <laughs> Zach, nice. <laughs> I 
Megamind, I told you, I wasn't messing around. Your next one is a ban. <laughs> Love you, Zach. Eddie Goodman, love you too, man. Slash 01, can you send me, can you email me a picture of that? I'm always curious what that would look like. Power I just gave to my moderators. Is it too much? Is it not enough? Or is it just right? Slash, email me, uh, email me a picture of that. I want to take a look at it, if you don't mind. Um, so Suk, um, so Zach and Karen both gave me a thousand dollars a month to become moderators. So if you want to Venmo me money, go ahead. Congrats, Brock. How many people in the in the ter tennis tournament, if you don't mind me asking? Please tell me it's not three. Dude, play more mixed matches, Brock Sistos. What's a CCW real Philip Beal? Bro, what's a CCW? Oh, conceal and carry weapon? Is it because of these idiots that are like targeting ethnic Asians? Like, is that serious? No, I, I'm, I'm curious. Like, I'm, I'm not making this political. I, I'm just curious. If that's what CCW means because of the recent events that idiots are carrying out all over the United States and possibly the world. I, I don't have um, a conceal and carry weapon. I don't have a weapon. On me. Um, not that I have anything against it, to be honest. And obviously, I'm not going to make this political. Hold on. This is a tough one. God damn it. Um, but, yeah, that's nuts that all these things are happening right now um, towards people of ethnic descent stemming from Asia. Because people, people are idiots. I, I don't understand that. Um, but if I ever find myself in a situation... Um, I don't have a gun, but l let's put it this way. I know how to defend myself, right? Oh, deadly weapon? 
Oh, okay. Um, well, well, first of all, racism in general needs to freaking stop, right? But, you know, the idea is, you know, there's always going to be racists out there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, put it this way, like, I, I, I might be only five foot eight, right? But I have other means to defend myself other than um, an actual CCW or CCDW. Um, have I thought about getting, you know, an actual concealed carry license? Absolutely. Um, but to be honest, um, there's logistics behind that that might be an issue. Not, not that I have a record or anything, because I, don't, I, don't, I have a clean record other than a few speeding tickets. Um, I, I do want to get one eventually, don't get me wrong. Um, but it does take time. And I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, that taking time. I'd rather hang out with you guys, let's put it this way. What's up, Mia? I don't think I've ever met you, Mia, who is speaking from Andy Chung. Um, JPG, I, I string about um, one, d during non-summer months, I string about one racket every four days. During the summer, I string about one racket every other day. Broxy Stills, play more mixed doubles matches if you can before the actual district tournament. That's my advice to you. Oh yeah, I go incredibly fast. I mean, why, why wouldn't I go incredibly fast in my Mercedes? I'm about to buy a Tesla Model S that's even faster and sexier, even though it has four doors, which is nothing wrong with it, but it's a freaking Tesla. It's literally like a spaceship on wheels. Bra, can I give you a little piece of advice? Never, ever, 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 ever date another tennis player. Nothing good has ever happened from it, in my opinion. It's kind of like dating a coworker. It's a bad idea. Never date another tennis player. Trust me. Because you can get way too competitive, assuming this is a heterosexual relationship, right? Every time you play any type of mixed doubles event. And trust me, mixed doubles can be very, very fun. It can be extremely fun. You're always expected to play the person you're play with the person that you're dating. Also, if you're dating a tennis player that's around your level, let's say your mixed doubles partner, you're always expected to hit with him or her. You can't hit with other players. Also, if you play in another mixed doubles match and the person you're dating is not there, people might raise a few eyebrows. I'm not saying have, I'm not saying don't have fun. I'm not saying, oh, I messed this one up. God damn it. Brock, it's all your fault. I'm joking. I'm glad I caught this mistake. But this is my opinion. Don't ever date another tennis player. Dating advice for Mark Sansett. Obviously, you're still in high school, so you've got your whole life ahead of you. Hopefully, you don't make the mistakes I make, which is a lot. 
Exactly. And for those of you that aren't in the workforce or those of you just right out of college, never, especially if your coworker is in the same department as you, never date a coworker. Never, ever date a coworker. It might be okay if the coworker you're dating is in like a completely different department or a completely different building. That might be okay, but it gets weird. But the absolute, and I will admit, I, I have dated one coworker in the past. And in, in my stupid 25 year old head, I'm like, oh, she's here. I'm here. Might as well make this convenient. I mean, it was fine for like three months. But what if it, what if shit hits the fan? Right? And it will, statistically speaking. Not to sound like a pessimist, but statistically speaking, it's not gonna work out. Also, the office politics and office gossip never really help. But just like with dating someone from the office, this last grommet is a complete bitch to get through. Ugh, there we go. Oh shit. My World of Warcraft raid needs me, but I gotta finish this. Never date a coworker, especially one that's in your same department. Never date another tennis player. That's my advice to you. This is coming from a guy that has done both. You're a freshman in high school. Good for you. Well, take my advice for what it's worth it, Brock. It's your life. I'm not saying don't have fun, but once things get quote unquote official, it gets a little bit awkward and you know about that locker room talk because you're in high school. Things get around very quickly, whether or not they're true. I've never tried the Lynx Tour, the Jao, Ribeiro. Is my blown? Man. Wait, are you talking about Highland Park, Illinois, Souk? Because I grew up around that area. Should I have one piece of this? God damn it. God damn it. Okay, I'm good. Okay, Dallas Highland Park. Okay. Because there was a Highland Park in Illinois about um, 15 to 20 minutes away from where I grew up. And they were also a tennis powerhouse.
All right. Holy shit. Eddie Goodman, I use uh, this Parnell knot as starting knot on the crosses, and I use double regular double knots for everything else. Who's good in Cook County Lake Country High School tennis? Cook County, Lake County. Evan King, I think he's currently number 250 in the world. I actually used to be his hitting partner back in the day when I was a talented junior. Um, yeah. Evan King. Lefty, he's not even that big of a guy. I think he's only six foot one. He's a grinder. He's number 250 in the world right now, at least last I checked. <sighs> Hope he's doing well. Nice family. Very nice family. Hey Google, turn off my TV, please. Turn off the TV off. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Daddy. Damn right it is. Uh, Jose P, what high schoolers are powerhouses? Um, Hinsdale South, Hinsdale Central, Stevenson High School, and Glenbrook North and Glenbrook South. Well, Brock, I give you my advice. It's your life, man. Let me know how that turns out. So, I gotta get to my World of Warcraft raid. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe for more original tennis content. I do stream Tuesdays and Thursdays. I will be streaming the Poly Tour Rev. Should be here Thursday for my Thursday stream. If you guys have any questions, hop on my Discord or leave a comment down in the section below. I will be commenting, answering comments of this Discord during my World of Warcraft raid. That's kind of weird seeing me. Oh, my fade's so good. All right, guys, as always, much love, happy hitting.